Hey you guys, I'm very excited. Today I'm going to show you another uh, compound cut on the scroll saw. We'll make this tiny, cute little butterfly. Look how cute it is. These ones are the easiest things to make on a scroll saw. It only takes about five minutes tops from the beginning to the end. And uh, I'm planning on using these guys to make them as handles for my tiny boxes. I think that will be a super, super cute and uh, I'm going to connect them with a small dowel or maybe with some epoxy, I don't know yet, but I mean, look how adorable that is. Super, super cute, the pattern, it is on the in the description below if you're interested. And uh, I'm going to make a lot more patterns like this and put them on my website. So if you like making this kind of stuff, please keep an eye out for it. Now, without any further ado, let's get right into it and see how we do it. Now, when you print the pattern, it looks something like this. Oops, it's upside down. Ignore the empty part on the top, just because I had this template for making a different uh, 3D design with a cat. You can find that as well on my website. But right now, I'm just going to cut this design out. So I'll cut just a little bit outside my lines. And then this blank part, I don't need at the top, so I can just cut it right across. So now this is our pattern and I have to make sure I fold this right on the line. So we'll do that. And I designed this uh, pattern to work on one and a half by one and a half inch material. So I have a piece of walnut here. So I'll be gluing this to my blank like this. So that's the way it's going to go. Now to glue this, first I put some a blue tape onto my blank, then I glue the pattern like this. That's the way I prefer to do it. And now I will put some packing tape, clear packing tape material over it, some tape just so it lubricates the blade. And that way it helps with the pattern not lifting off as I cut it. So let me get some packing tape. Super windy outside. We have a big storm. We actually lost power this morning. So there you go. Now we have packing tape. So the next thing to do now is to go to the drill press and drill the entry holes for these cutouts over here. And you see we have these other circles that are smaller. What I'm gonna do to make it easier on myself, instead of trying to cut them with a scroll saw, I'll just drill them with one eight inch drill bit. Now you can make them all different sizes by drilling them with different uh, drill bit, but I have a one eight inch installed on my drill press. I'm just gonna make them all even. So make a, a few holes with the drill press and then make entry holes for these three bigger cutouts. So that's what I'm gonna do next. All right, so I drilled my holes. This is what it looks like so far. Nothing special. Now I'm gonna go to the scroll side. We'll cut these three bigger cutouts. And then after that, I'm not gonna stop to explain more. I'm going to tell you right now what we're gonna do. We'll cut these three cutouts, then we'll cut this profile. So we'll just do the outside cut. And I'm gonna cut outside of my line because I wanted these wings to be just a little bit sturdier. So I'm just gonna cut right outside this line. And then once we cut this side up, we're gonna tape it back together with the clear packing tape. That way the block is keeping its integrity. And then we'll cut this side. We'll cut the outline of this side. So let's go to that right now at the scroll saw. Now for the blade, I am using a Pegas geometry modified number seven blade. So that's what I'm gonna use for that. And let's cut the piece out. And let's see if we can got if we got a butterfly. <laughs> this piece came out. That is great. 
this piece came out and we should have a butterfly right here in the middle. Ta-da! Look how cute! Actually, I really like it. Hold on a second. And this is our tiny butterfly. So, so cute. Let's see if it stands on something. Just like that. Whoops. Oh boy. Didn't break. All right, to sand it, I'll be using a round rasp for the holes. Oh, the holes doesn't fit. Maybe for the bigger holes. And then I'll be using some 220 sandpaper that I like to roll like this. And then just kind of sand the edges so they're not rough. They don't have any fuzziness and to be less square. But super, super cute a butterfly. I'll be making more of these uh, characters, patterns, if you like it, and I'll be adding them to my website as I make them. And this is what it looks like after I sand it and uh, put some finish on it. Super, super cute. I'm uh, planning on making these guys and use them as handles on top of my tiny boxes. I mean, how cute will that be? Of course, I would put a quarter inch dowel on the bottom or a smaller one and put the hole in there and put the dowel and that's the way it's going to get connected. It's either that or use epoxy. But super, super cute, very happy with it. Again, the pattern is in the description below. I hope this was helpful to you and you learned something new. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Skylar Ewing and I'll see you in my next video.